Hello again, my lovelies. I thought we'd do a little short reading and see a little bit about your finances, your money situation. All right, so let's do that real quick. Great Spirit, could we have... Never mind. There it is. All right, we have the Six of Wands. I'm being led to read this from this book for you guys for the Six of Wands. So let's see what it has to say, and then I'll tell you uh, intuitionally what I'm feeling uh, that the messages are also. Okay. Badass success, leadership, accomplishments, being seen, becoming an influencer, victory, optimism, inspiring others. That's a pretty good card, right? For m money and finances and all that. I like that. <clears throat> Relish the sweetness of this victory. Something that you've been working toward is finally coming to a successful fruition, and it's time to celebrate your wins, beautiful seer. Gift yourself permission to bask in the warm glow of accomplishment and allow the supportive community around you to witness and appreciate the progress you've made. Taking time to see your own radiance is as important as making the next move on your journey. Accepting success will seed more of it. Others will turn to you for wisdom now, so step up and share your brilliance. In shadow, this card points to shying away from public attention and hiding your light from the world. It may also indicate someone who craves external validation instead of turning to their own inner compass to define success. Remember that no one else in the world has your magic and that the most important person to impress wholeheartedly is yourself. Say it with me. I am worthy of this success and I am grateful that I am seen. Um, part of what I wanted to say on that, hold on. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, part of what I wanted to say on that is like, I'm going through the exact same thing of, you know, I had gotten away from doing the readings for a bit, not for, you know, any bad reason. I needed a felt like I needed to focus on some other things for myself, right? And, and grow a little bit more and kind of learn a little bit more and be more comfortable <clears throat> with myself to even be able to do this and be more consistent with it again, okay? So a lot of that is going on for the collective right now and everybody's going through something similar. And you might've felt like for a long time there's been um, a big shift coming, big energies like you just feel something big and magnificent is just going to happen within your life and it is the time right now like we're all feeling it for a reason some people it's already come to fruition in the 3d here and for some of us you know we can just feel it coming and it's you know it, it's all about taking that step of coming out of your comfort zone and stepping into your true being of yourself okay what this card is talking about is not shying away from the public myself I sometimes would like to just hide in the corner and smoke some weed and paint and just that's it not talk to anybody right I could do that sometimes but is that truly who I am and is that really gonna help myself or anyone else no it's not right so I had to get myself out there feel more comfortable with myself first right step away for a second reassess and refocus on what I want and what makes me happy you know and and includes giving back and helping other people as well as making myself happy right because once your own cup is full and overflowing then you can give from your overflow all right so i had to go away for a bit and make sure my cup was full maybe you guys have had to do the same but it's time to come out of the hermitville guys all right it's time to come out of the shadows it's time to step into your light whether that's making spiritual guidance videos like myself whether that's doing card readings you could be good at making jokes you could be good at dancing you could be good at singing or writing poems and stuff that you're just keeping in a notebook in your closet and you're not sharing it with the world it's very important you guys why because look at all the artists that we look up to um, people that express themselves no matter what it is artists dancing tattooing um, spiritual leaders it doesn't matter what it is any of those people that we look up to if they would have just sat in their room and kept all their ideas and their um, creativity and their art and their music to themselves, then we would have never gotten to hear it and been inspired ourselves and made it feel, you know, how you listen to a certain song or something and you just, you could put it on repeat all day because it just makes you feel great. You know what I mean? Or it just brings back good memories or whatever it is that is, you know, relevant to you and your situation, you guys. Um, 
you could be that person for somebody and you're just hiding it away right now. So don't be afraid to step out. Don't be afraid if you think you have flaws, if you think you look a certain way, you're fucking beautiful or handsome just how you are and perfect just how you are, as long as you're being yourself and accepting yourself, okay? I could be out here, maybe with something stuck in my teeth, maybe somebody judges women with tattoos on their face, you know, if I was all insecure about that stuff and, and wanted to hide away from my true self, which is who I am just because of how other people might view me, then that wouldn't be my true self and I definitely wouldn't be happy, okay? I never regret any of the stuff that I do for myself and, and no matter how weird society thinks it is or no matter how unacceptable somebody thinks the way that I look is, Really, most of the time, I would say almost all the time, 99% of the time, I get good positive feedback. It's because I'm positive about myself and I radiate positive energy, right? I'm not, if when I was out here not loving myself a long time ago, uh, before my journey really started, uh, when I was hard on myself and abusive to myself, that got reflected in my external um, environment, right? And people that I dated were very abusive to me and very mean to me. But that's how I was speaking to myself and being towards myself. So that's what the universe provided me with, right? The motherfuckers couldn't come near me with a 75 foot pole right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? The energy is quite different. How I look even is quite different. I looked older back then and I look younger now than I, than I did back then when I was younger. You know, I stand up for myself. I try to speak my truth with dignity. I keep my integrity and I go for what I want no matter what anybody else thinks about it. Okay, and that's what you guys are supposed to be doing too. I'm seeing a wreath here also, which keeps popping out as obviously we got Christmas coming up. So maybe this time of, maybe there's some craft you do or something that you're needing to put out there right now that people are gonna love to buy for the holidays or gifts for their, for their family and friends. You know what I'm saying? And you've been keeping it all to yourself and not sharing it with anybody. So maybe Christmas is gonna be very relevant for you guys this year too. Um, of course, coming upon the end of the year, there's a bit of fire here that that has to do with letting go of old and bringing in the new. Okay, so please, guys, whatever you've been contemplating and coming out of the shadows about, whatever your beautiful talent is, your gift to the world, please come out here and give it. I want to hear it. I want to see it. You can link your YouTube or your channel or just a video below and I will watch it and I'll check it out and I would love to support your craft. Okay, so let's move on to we got the situation right of you needed to come out of your shadows to to increase your abundance to really reap uh, what you sow. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been playing it safe too long now myself too. I'm ready to go now. So let's see what the goddesses have to say. We'll just pull one goddess, please angels for the financial situation of our lovelies today that has to do with stepping out into your true self and your light and out of the shadows. Donna, high priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through spiritual teaching. Okay, so here we go with the synchronicities, which is always a fucking magical thing for me. I love this shit so much. Um, what were we just talking about? Uh, if you're a spiritual teacher, if you read cards, if you like to talk about crystals, if you know about astrology, if you do palm reading, I don't care what it is. You know, this day and age, it's all about technology and about social media and, you know, branding yourself as who you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be fancy. You don't got to be have makeup on. You don't have to get tattoos or whatever. Be who you are. And that's enough. I promise you. But just get yourself out there a bit more. Your spiritual teachings that you guys are needing, you know, to help people with, you know, maybe you think you don't know enough. Maybe you think you're not ready. You are ready. Okay. Cause if you're, you will just procrastinate yourself to death. If you keep saying, well, I need this, this to be in order for this to happen. No, just start, just go, just start somewhere. Once you pick a point to start from, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can mess up on the first time. Do it again, do it again and do it again. What happened, you know, when you were younger, even riding a bike, <clears throat> you didn't get on a bike and do it the first time. You fell off and then just quit. No, you didn't. You had to keep going to learn and practice, right? It's going to be the same with coming out of your shell, um, with expressing, you know, your true talents, your wisdoms to people. Excuse me. Maybe you're kind of shy. It's hard to speak with people. My goodness. A lot of releasing going on today. Um, you know, maybe that's a comfort zone that you have to step out of, of getting comfortable with speaking with people. Um, or... Maybe this opportunity of doing everything on camera and sending that out to the, world is a bit, to the world is a bit easier for you since you don't have to actually be in person with somebody, right? 
So take that first step of just starting to share your gift. Uh, any teachings, anything about your craft that you want to teach people, you are needed. I promise you are very much needed in this world, okay? So please share it. We're going to do one more. I'm trying not to make these too long. Uh, this is from my new Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle deck. If you know me, you know uh, loves my weed and um, a very medicinal healing plant. And uh, I got this new deck from my beautiful friend Bella for my birthday. And so I would love to show you. Um, I'm going to show you the artwork in the last video. I think I forgot to, but, um, my bad, but this one I will, hopefully I don't butcher the name and we'll see, uh, at the end of this reading what it brings. Abracadabra. That's an actual speaking spell, you know, into the world, into the universe. Like that's some for real shit. So be careful you, when we speak and we spell it's, it's that energy that we're sending out into the world and the intentions. So, um, don't play with that word. Look it up if you don't know much about it. It's not just from Looney Tunes, okay? Uh, Abracadabra, connect. Look at that badass card. All right, let's find it in here while you check that out. Abracapocus. Remember for, uh, what was it? It's like Saturday morning cartoons. Bugs Bunny. Abracapocus. Him and the witch. Him and the... I think it was uh, Witch Hazel. Anyways, that's one of my favorite episodes is that, so... All right, abracadabra. Let me find it here. Since they're not in any order, I don't think. So I appreciate your patience. Because I don't know exactly where it's at. Uh, I hope this is helping you guys, though. Um, give it a little like. If you don't mind, it really helps out a lot. I know it's like liking videos, but... You know, I just, if somebody else is able to see it or it gets out to somebody because you push that little button, I would appreciate it very much, okay? Hopefully one of these days I'll find this. Um, and then we can move on and we can end your reading. Oh, I think we're getting, getting close. Maybe not. I'm going to have to freaking edit just to find the damn card in here. <laughs> Great. Uh, anyway, again, I appreciate your patience. If I can skip skip ahead 10, if it's easier for you. Until, oh, there it is. Good Lord, I was there all along. Uh, on, on number page number 81, <clears throat> so go check that out. I was drawn to that. That also breaks down to a nine, which is endings and new beginnings. So a new beginning into your new purpose, right? Your purpose and your, your um, speaking your truth. The plant spirit for Abracadabra is aloe. Connect. Abracadabra is said to be a magical series of numbers, and if you write it out in a certain way, it will bring miracles into your life. The literal translation is, I will create as I speak. So there's a little bit about it, as I was kind of trying to tell you earlier. In this card, you are encouraged to speak your heart. The topical oracle tells you to rub your heart and chest with love. Speak to your heart in a way that creates a gratitude rampage. Take the topic of your choice and rub the spelling of abracadabra onto your heart chakra and just be be still and be here so abracadabra love gratitude what are you grateful for when you're grateful for things around you that brings more things that you could be grateful for around you does that make sense so if you're sitting there <clears throat> oh this isn't enough or i don't like this i don't like that and you're kind of in your self-pity woe is me shitty funky energy then you're, you're only going to bring more of that to you. So find one thing you're grateful for. It could be I get to wake up and live by the beach every day. Um, I have beautiful lips. Uh, I have a great ass. It doesn't matter what it is. Be grateful for something and, and then build that gratefulness to other things. All right. And start to feel that within your chest. For extra integration, do the pairing below and read all the cards in the spread. All right, we're not going to do that today, you guys, because I think we've we've got quite enough. But um, I really hope that helped. You know, be careful what you speak and what you think. It is very powerful, and I cannot stress that enough, including the way you look, the way you talk to yourself, your environment, people that are around you, and what you're attracting in your life, okay? I really hope this helped. I love you guys so much. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.